Next, we're going to go look at a strawberry planting date and fall row cover research trial we have going on in Clarksville, Arkansas. This trial is in its second year, and we are evaluating how planting date and the use of row covers applied at two different timings in the fall impact crop establishment, crown growth, and yields. Planting on time in the fall is well understood to be critical to allowing enough time for crown development on short day strawberries prior to them going into dormancy. This research is meant to help growers determine if applying row covers in the fall can help advance crop establishment and crown formation on late planted crops. Row covers may be applied to moderate cool nighttime temperatures and advance crop development. However, how planting date and the timing of row cover application in the fall interact to impact crown development and spring yields is not well understood. So to study this further, we implemented a trial in the fall of 2018. Chandler plug plants were planted on two dates, one being the on time on October 5th and the late being on Oct October 10th, about a week later. Sub subsequently, in both timings, we applied row covers, uh, the first being when the daily high temperatures average 65 degrees Fahrenheit and the second once daily high temperatures average 60 degrees Fahrenheit. We then left some plants completely uncovered. Uh, in 2018, the early set of row covers were applied in the third week of October and once daily high temps reached about 65. And the late row covers were applied the first week of November once daily high temperatures reached 60. Uh, in 2019, uh, last fall, the timings were pretty similar. Uh, the row cover weight that we're using is one ounce, and we did remove all row cover treatments uh, in early December. Uh, the trial you will see today is all planted in Chandler. I want to point out that our preliminary results from 2019 season found that the fall applied row covers can advance crown development and increase yields on late plantings. However, plantings where row covers were applied still don't yield as well as on-time plantings. And this makes sense because we can't make up for the lost daylight on late plantings, but row covers can help plants stay slightly warmer and growing for a longer period of time as nights cool in the fall. The on-time plantings all yielded similarly regardless of row cover use, and so a row cover didn't really seem to advance crop establishment any further if plants were already planted on time. These results are indicative of the last seasons we've had in 2018-2019, where a major cold spell in about the two to three weeks after planting definitely impacted crop establishment in the fall. So how are we looking here at our second year of replicating this trial? Well, you remember we've talked a lot about this freeze that happened on Veterans Day, November 11th to 12th here in Arkansas, where we had major drops in temperature from 60s to 70s to the mid-20s across the state. Uh, and this was about four to six weeks after most people had planted and it sent a lot of our strawberry crops into kind of an early dormancy. So how are our different planting date and row cover treatments looking this year after that major cold event? Well, let's take a trip down I-40 uh, and you're to Clarksville, Arkansas, and you're going to see two different videos uh, of kind of how those plants are looking. One from about uh, two to three weeks ago when we were biomass sampling, and another from about a week ago when we went through and started counting uh, blooms and buds. So let's get started down in Clarksville, Arkansas. All right, everybody, this is Dr. Amanda McWhirt. I'm a horticulture specialist with the University of Arkansas. Today we're out here in Clarksville, Arkansas at our fruit research station looking at our strawberry uh, trial where we uh, had two different planting dates and then we applied row covers to these plants uh, at two different timings. Uh, and we also had a control group that never got a row cover at all in the fall. Uh, just from looking across these plots, you can see some pretty big differences in plant size uh, and that's kind of what we're trying to assess through our biomass sampling today. Uh, I'm going to walk over here to one of those first rows and kind of walk you through what we're seeing in the plants uh, plot by plot. So here in this first row, uh, this first plot of plants was planted in what we considered our on-time planting date. So this was before October 5th. Um, this plot also got a row cover applied to it um, sometime in early November uh, when the daily average high temperatures um, reached 65. Um, you know, plants look pretty good, maybe a little bit small, other than what we would like to see this time of year. Um, if we look at the data from where we're pulling um, our biomass, we do count crown number. On this plot, we see that we have seven crowns per plant uh, on the plant sample that we pulled. This next plot next to it was actually planted about a week later. So I'm going to 
come over here and see if you can see kind of general smaller size of these plants that are right next to it. Um, just that one week time difference in planting date. These guys still did get a row cover um, at that 65 degree date, so sometime in early November. If we look at what we see in terms of crown number, we only had one crown per plant on the plant that we pulled on this one. Um, so we'll be seeing how that plays out across the field, but definitely a visual difference, I think, in terms of how big the plants are just by delaying planting date that one week. This next plot um, was also planted on time, but got a row cover a little bit later than that first um, two plots. So these row covers were applied when the daily high temperature in the fall reached 60. So that was about a week to 10 days later uh, after that first row cover application. This plot was planted on time, and its sister plot next to it here uh, was planted on that later planting date about a week later. Again, you can see pretty big size difference uh, between these two plots. Um, that later uh, planting date um, did still get that later row cover application. Uh, if we look at our data, this pl planting um, planted on time but had a little bit later row cover application, five crowns um, found in that plant that was pulled. And on this plant um, that was planted a little bit later was at four crowns. Our final plot back here um, is our plot that was planted on time but never got a row cover in the fall. And this guy back here was planted late and got no row cover at all in the fall. So you can see a pretty drastic difference um, as we move through these different plants. Um, this guy that was planted on time but got no row cover had three crowns. And this plant or plot back here uh, that was planted a week late and didn't get any row cover at all um, had two crowns. Now, uh, I do want to point out that we have four replications of this, so we're going to do the averages and the statistics across all. Um, but of course, as you look down this row, I think you can see a pretty clear kind of hop-skip effect where um, our plants that got planted a week late um, are smaller than the ones that got planted on time. Um, it does kind of look like um, adding that row cover earlier in the fall on those uh, plots that are further down. So these plots and further back did help with some plant size, considering that this plot that got planted the latest and got no row cover does appear to be the smallest for sure. Of course, um, you know, the fall is going to be very important to crown development. Um, and so I think this is, this is good information for us to have here in Arkansas about the importance of planting on time. Hey everybody, we're out here again at the Fruit Research Station looking at our strawberry planting date and fall row cover application trial. I just want to show you kind of what we're working on today. Uh, we are going through and counting how many buds, blooms, and green berries there are on uh, about five plants in each plot. Um, and we're seeing some pretty striking differences between our early and our late planting date. So for an example here, this is one of our late planting date plots. Uh, plants look pretty good. When we start to zoom in and look and do our bloom and berry counts, um, you know, we're seeing a couple green fruit in there, some buds still uh, about to open, a few blooms. Where by contrast, if we go to one of our plots that is an on-time planting and kind of look down in the canopy to see what we see, we see quite a bit more green fruit, blooms, and buds. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that trip to Clarksville. As you can see, we're still seeing a really strong effect of planting date. And so kind of our take home message is that we still wanna try and plant on time, but if a situation occurs where we're not able to and we're delayed, a one ounce row cover applied a few weeks after planting in early October can help uh, advance crop establishment and hopefully contribute to increased crown development in the fall. We are still continuing to collect yield data on this trial and we're hopeful to have those results compiled later this summer to give you a better understanding before we move into the fall planting season for the 2021 strawberry season. Thanks so much for watching.